Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6. Today is super duper exciting because there is a brand new hero added to the game for the first time post launch. It is our fifth hero, the Captain Churchill Tank. Look at how cool this guy is. He sort of reminds me of Striker Jones in that way. I wonder how he's gonna be playing, but as you can see, he is in his armored battle tank. The captain is a no-nonsense powerhouse on the battlefield. You need 2,500 monkey money to unlock him. I actually just went and bought 1,000 uh, monkey money to afford this because I was at 2,460, so I was 40 below, so. The sun god fights on the side with the best artillery. Oh, the sun god fights on the side with the best artillery. Interesting catchphrase. Um, he has two moves to start with. Of course, well, I mean, he has the two active, active ability moves. Armor piercing shells, which if we take a look, shots can pop black balloons and do extra damage to ceramic or higher for five seconds. Not bad, and then all, he also has Moab Barrage. Launches a barrage of shells up to, at up to 10 Moab class balloons on screen, dealing massive damage each time. Ooh. And we can take a look at some other stuff, of course. In his armored battle tank, the captain is a no-nonsense powerhouse on the battlefield. Increased popping power per shot. His first uh, armor-piercing shells. Um, increased attack range. Fast-firing machine gun attack to the tank. Uh, binoculars allow Churchill to pop camo balloons. Very interesting. So he can pop camo at level six. Shells can explode four times instead of three. Increased attack speed. Shells can explode five times. His uh, Moab Barrage, so we already read that. Increased popping power per shell. Shells can explode six times. Armor piercing shells pop two layers of balloons and do two extra, or do extra damage to ceramic and higher. Machine gun and main gun pop two layers per shot. All attacks do extra damage versus fortify balloons. Increased attack speed. Armor-piercing shells do even more damage. All, all shells pop an extra layer of balloon. Shells can explode seven times. And finally, Moa Barrage shells and main gun do massively increased damage per hit. Very crazy stuff. So he doesn't really, you know, have any kind of synergy with any other tower, but he is very powerful and you can tell the reason is because he has a 2,000 in-game cost. So our normal heroes have less than 1,000. He has 2,000, so that's an interesting exchange. But this is so exciting because I was not expecting so early on to have a brand new hero. So I feel like that's really, really cool. Now when it comes to where we want to try him, I'm uh, you know taking a look at everything. I feel like we want to try him on easy mode first. Oh, oh look at this, we got a brand new map as well. I totally forgot. So this is a brand new map. It's called the Firing Range. And obviously it'll probably be pretty perfect for, for uh, Churchill here. So we'll try it on easy. That way we can sort of get a good idea of it. But that is so cool. So. It looks like it really is a firing range, so you can tell how they sort of start off. Sort of, I don't know where else, I guess they go and then they go down? Sort of looks like you can go down here, so I'm guessing that's when they leave back down this way. I don't know, it's a little odd. So we, it's a very difficult map, ah, for sure. Um, I don't know where I wanna put things, because you just can't put things out here. It has to be behind the firing range. So it feels like it'd be pretty smart. I mean, it's 1700 in easy difficulty. I think that maybe we should work with something like this for now. I need to sort of follow the path of the balloons and sort of figure this out a little bit, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, Cause right now it looks like they both have to go around. So I guess, you know, that's not too bad of a choice what I did there. It's sort of weird to figure out how they do that, but if this works, it works. Maybe we could just do this and rush 1700. Of course I could use superpowers. Um, I don't want to have to, because I, I mean, I want to be able to figure this out on its own. I think this will be enough to last though, so let's hope it is. Now the balloons are gonna get past, and they do go down, so I was correct about that. So I can't wait to try Churchill. Um, he's gonna be 1,700, so we gotta save up another 1,000. I don't think that'll be so bad. I mean, I say then, then all these blue balloons come in. I want to be able to get him as early as physically possible though, like that's a big focus, and why that is, of course, is because I want to be able to, um, 
get him to level six as quickly as possible. If we can get him to level six before um, round 24 for the camo, I mean, I guess that first camo doesn't matter too much, but uh, we just need to get to level six pretty soon so that he can get, you know, anti-camo. That seems to be a big focus. Um, I feel like that'd be good because it can sort of change my strategy a little bit because I'm always trying to rush camo and then anti-Moab for wave 40, but I might not even need that as much depending on how anti-Moab he's gonna be. He seems like he's very anti-Moab. Um, that's one of his abilities, but we'd have to sort of rush it. I wonder what would happen if we rushed his levels and we really financially went all in with him. Maybe we can keep this setup that we have right now and all we do beyond this is just put levels, like put our money into these levels and buy more level ups for Churchill if we can afford it. That might end up working. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. A lot of people from what I saw were saying like, is he gonna check this out, he's super overpowered. I wonder how overpowered he actually is. Um, or if it's just that, you know, because of that expensive starting cost, there is sort of a good reason for it, you know, because it's definitely hard to earn up that starting cost. Like we're in round nine now, and I still don't have that 1700, but now I do, he has intense range. I'm thinking I'm gonna stuff him in a corner a little bit, and why that is is because, you know, that way you can also. I don't understand, I mean, the sun yes. god, as in you like mean the sun god monkey? So we can buy level two, t two for him already, which is pretty nice. So already he has increased popping power per shot, which is nice. And as you can see right now, it's sort of like a cannon that shoots off. I wonder if this guy's gonna make Striker Jones obsolete. I don't think so. Because once again, he doesn't help the other towers. Uh, that's sort of something with uh, Striker Jones is he synergizes with cannons. While with this guy, he seems to practically replace cannons. Um, in a way, I mean, as far as I can understand. But that's where I wanna hear you guys' feedback. What are your thoughts on Churchill, the brand new hero? Do you think he's cool? Do you think he's not so cool? I would love to hear your thoughts. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and boost up some of our uh, other monkeys that we have going on right now, because we should have pretty decent defense against most things, especially if we can get uh, Churchill level up pretty soon. So we'll just sort of go for it, see what ends up happening, and see if it ends up working out nicely. I mean, I probably shouldn't have gone for what I've gone here, but you know what, maybe we could push some money making. <laughs> Hey, it's really funny. Cause I like I'm trying to think of like what might he not be able to reach? And I'm thinking, oh, we do have this now. This. So I I forget what that does. <laughs> um maybe we can take a look real quick. Um shots can pop black balloons and do extra damage to ceramic or higher for 10 seconds. So there's not really anything that will be thrown at us right now. So that that really is very dependent on timing, so I'll have to keep that in mind. We'll do 425 for the flaming. Uh, the only thing I can imagine are the, I think the purple balloons that are resistant to fire and explosive and stuff. We'll have to sort of maybe have a good defense against, against that. Maybe that's going to be another dart monkey on top of the one we currently have. Hard to say for now. But it is very interesting that it really is a firing range, so you can only put things out in the firing area. And you can even see like tank tracks. So you can see Churchill's been around here. I like that, you know, he just practices his uh, tank aiming. Such a cool idea though. Like I'm so glad there's a brand new hero. Some people were upset. They said they wanted, oh, you can even remove that. Can you remove some of this other stuff? I suppose not. But um, I mean, I guess it doesn't get in the way, which is weird. But uh, people were upset. They said they wanted to see a new tower and not a new hero. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like this is perfect. I, I'm sure eventually they'll add new towers. Like a lot of people want the engineer back. A lot of people want the balloon shipper back. Maybe they'll add those things eventually. But I feel like this is really cool because we already have an awesome game in front of us right now. And the idea that they're going to add more as we go along is super exciting. It's gonna keep people keep on checking out the game, you know? So I'm excited to see how far they really push this whole hero idea. Um, because I think it could go really far. Like maybe by the end of the game's life cycle, we'll have like 10 heroes. This is our fifth one, so I need like five more. That'd be really cool. Okay, so we actually do have some black balloons here, so I can try this out. Don't know if it's really doing too much more. Oh, here's our first camo, which we can see because of the buccaneer monkey, so it's not that big of a sweat. Now we're getting $200 every round, so that's gonna be nice as well. We can work on you a little bit. We already have a lot of anti-different stuff. Oh yeah, here come those purple balloons. But they aren't being burnt, as you can see. I mean, they still get damaged by the grapes and everything else. They just don't get damaged by burning. Um, that just doesn't do anything to them. So it's interesting, but I think we're handling it just fine. I mean, obviously we can put a uh, submarine on the right of the uh, Buccaneer, and I think that'll be fine as well. We can earn up 1700 for that, yes, or maybe sir. that's a fast firing machine gun attack to the tank. That's what I wanna see. Yeah, I see it on the top now. Not only is he shooting, whoa, so he can, Attack twice, oh, I didn't really mean to do that, I was just seeing if I could press it there. Is that he can, 
You know, let's let's do uh let's do strong for him. I think that's gonna be smarter. Um But uh yeah, he attacks yes. two things at once at times, I saw there. In a way. Very interesting. During certain cir circumstances, it seems at least that's the case. So I like that a lot. So let's see, we're about to hit round 30. Obviously, like this is gonna be a lead, which we'll be able to pop with the uh the buccaneer. So like really, we, like, this is a pretty fine setup for what we got and what we're dealing with. So, I mean, I don't think I gotta go too much more economy. I could go for favored trades. I don't know if that's really gonna be worthwhile because uh, generates lots lots of money. Like, I don't think it's gonna span out in 10 rounds. So if I wanted to do something more, I think it would be getting a, uh, a submarine. If we can fit it, we can. Get the, uh, was that the thing that can see everything? Hold on. Yes, it advanced intel. So then we'll just get a bunch of twin guns. We can push for, toward that 2550 real easy. So things will be easy at this rate already. Because obviously he can pop camos, everybody else can pop camos. It's beautiful stuff. Excellent. But not everybody can pop camos. And actually, maybe I think everybody on our team right now can pop. Yeah, he can now pop camos because he's level six. He's very interesting, I'll say that much. Like, I like him, he's cool. Also, does his portrait change every time he levels up? I never know, Sam. I guess I guess that even happens for the heroes, huh? Cool, I like it. Yeah, I guess it does. Cause like that's his thing there, but if you take a look back this way, he's got the machine gun now. That's really cool, I like that. So let's see if this is gonna help. The only thing is he does have a bit of limited range. I wonder if we got rid of this out of curiosity. Whoa, that's cool, we could have put him there. And that probably would have been even better. Obviously, that would have been real expensive to do. But that's definitely the best place to put him is right there. Okay, very interesting for sure. Okay, so we got more black balloons showing up. Hmm. But they're not really getting very far at all. That water patch changes just about everything, you know? Which is really cool. And we can put some snipers in the back and that wouldn't be too bad either. Okay, we're getting lots of cash. We gotta spend it somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh, the sub commander. I don't know if we've ever gotten that before. Is that new? I don't know if they changed, like, what they've changed besides uh, just adding the hero in the map. I don't know if they've really changed too much more beyond that. All right, so this is our last round before the Moab. Unfortunately, Churchill here hasn't gotten too much of it. I wanted to see if we couldn't get in the level 10. Don't think it's gonna happen, but maybe next round we'll try this map again, but on normal difficulty. But yeah, I would really, really like to hear you guys' thoughts on this guy. If you think he's good, bad, all that kind of stuff, do you think he's worth the 2,500 monkey money? Go ahead and do that. And just, he just wiped the floor with the rest of it. Very cool, so we're gonna go home now. And we're gonna play that level again, but this time, and that's a uh, intermediate level map. I guess that makes sense. I don't think there's anything else that's new. Yeah, not quite. Uh, we'll just try that on normal difficulty and see how things end up going. I feel like, is there a new difficulty added? What's with the fourth medallion? And also, what's with this? You see how, oh, is that because I also got, I don't know which one of these I did. Maybe it was alternate balloons rounds or something. Yeah, I guess I did. I did alternate balloons rounds, so. Um, that's why it has like the extra little ribbon next to it. Okay, that makes sense. Interesting stuff. So for now, I'm gonna go back to the firing range. We're gonna do medium difficulty and we'll just do standard and see how things end up going. And maybe this will be pretty good. I would love to get rid of this guy right away. But I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I could try something like that. I mean, I know that if I put him there, it's pretty effective. And then while that's happening, we, like, we can start this round. I can try putting these two down. I mean, I know I'm using superpowers, but this, I already won easy mode with it. I just sort of want to experiment this round and sort of see how things end up going. So we could try something like that. I don't think I have to rush levels with him, so I can also focus on this. This worked out just fine last time. Uh, we'll probably do Merchant Man, see how much money we can make, like make good economy in some ways. I feel like that'd be nice. I know I'm, you know, like I said, I'm using superpowers. I'm not trying to like wow anybody with this one. I just want to try different strategies with them and see how it ends up going. Um, so we'll get the free monkey out here as well. I'll put him in this corner again because I still think that's a good idea. And then we'll try to rush 2300 because you're getting experience. You're getting levels at this point. Hopefully you'll be able to get to level six pretty soon. And then beyond that, you can get to level 10, I think is what we want for your 
thing. Yep, level 10 for the Moab Barrage. If we can get that before round 40, I think we'll be totally fine to be able to win. So obviously we're using superpower, so don't take this as like, in a, like a way to show you how powerful this hero is, because obviously you would have to do it without uh, superpowers or power-ups or whatever. And that's totally doable, I'm sure. But I'm just trying to do something to sort of figure out how far we can take it and also just sort of see his next move, because I usually forget to showcase the second move because I never get that far into the hero, you know? So I'm trying to make sure that we can get that second move and showcase that, because you know, that's sort of my job. <laughs> okay, so um, 2,300, almost there, or 2,000 on the dot, on the money, which is pretty good. But yeah, 2,500, I actually wasn't expecting him to cost anything. I thought just like, hey, you get the hero, because I mean, you already pay for the game, you know? I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. It's only a $5 game. And you know, I mean, I play Garden Warfare, and in Garden Warfare, a new character is added. You have to open up packs, and you know, you do that with currency you earn in game, but you can also buy it in real life. So I guess it's sort of, it, it's fine. It wasn't crazy expensive. If you're actively trying to save for that, I don't think it's too bad. I, you know, I, I'm not usually the, the most frivolous. I mean, I guess the opposite. I'm not the most frugal. That's the word. I'm not the most frugal of spenders in this game. You know, if I feel like I need something, I spend it, so I'm not really too worried about that. So I'm guessing that's sort of, uh, like if you were to actively spend, get a couple of easy level difficulty stuff done, move your way up to normal, I'm sure you could get Churchill. He definitely seems to be a higher level of skill hero. You need to be able to earn your money and know how to manage it if you really wanna be able to get some of the stuff done because he's just 2,000 to start with. It's a lot to start with. What I like about this is he actually reaches that third lane before he couldn't do that. So I definitely think if you're gonna use him on this map, get rid of that center tower. It's definitely worth it. So, uh, hmm. Now though, I think that, I mean, we're doing pretty decent. We're getting, you know, an extra couple hundred per round. We're getting the extra 200. If I really wanted to go all in with the money, we could try to get the 5,500. But I don't think that's gonna be all that smart. I think it'd be smarter just to focus on some damage with the sharpshooter, and then I can just leave you there and I don't have to worry about you as much. But honestly, I don't think that anything's gonna push out that far anytime soon. I think that we should probably start focusing on some snipers as well. Just anything that might have that fair amount of distance that could really work with us right now. And I think snipers are, of course, our best bet when it comes to that because we can just sort of plop him in the back and he's gonna be able to see everything on screen. Because the only thing that actually would block vision was the thing I already got rid of. So he's able to hit 100% of the things on screen right now, which is great. Um, when it comes to his upgrades, with that being said, I, I don't think bouncing a bullet would be too bad. Hmm. But maybe faster firing. Maybe. Maybe faster firing and then have deadly precision and then main Moab. That could be pretty good. Uh, so I think maybe we could push for something like that. So let's just get the extra thing there. It gets real expensive real quick. I'll tell you that much. But now he's gonna be fighting a little bit faster, firing a little bit faster, and he'll be hitting a lot more per shot, which is good. And 3,000 for deadly precision, but it's, it's worth it for what it's getting rid of. We don't really need the fire rate from him. We have that from the other monkeys. So that's really what I'm trying to balance out. So we're almost at a thousand, very good. So we seem to be doing well. And that also means that you know, like, this reaches a lot farther, which is always good as well. Okay, well the superpower applied a little bit to those black balloons that showed up, which weren't too much more beyond that, so that's pretty good. We got our first camo, which once again, isn't that big of a deal. And you are level five now, so adds a faster firing, or fast firing machine gun attack to the tank. This is when he really starts getting crazy. I feel like that's the next step for him, you know? It's insane. All right, we got deadly precision, so that's gonna make things even better. And if we take a look, it's very interesting how it works. So he's just, you know, popping it before they even show up. <laughs> All right, so we're almost at round 30. Your next upgrade's 7,000, which we should be able to get before round uh, 40. So I can focus on some other stuff I wanted to. I mean, 7,000, actually, that's a lot. Maybe I should just focus on the 5,500, then get the 2,000 for you, and then get the, uh, 7,000 for you, like that might work. We'll have to wait and see. The machine gun really does change everything now, it's crazy, I love it. But so far, so good. I mean, there might be something in this situation that I'm not expecting that might just destroy us, and I'm hoping that won't be the case, but obviously I'm hoping that won't be the case, you know? <laughs> so I'll have to just wait and see. We'll activate this, and that definitely seems to clear them out even faster. Like, we had the regrows, which are a little bit scary, because, um, 
you know, a lot of you warned me about this, is that if you pop a regrow and it pops into several more regrows, if you don't have enough fire rate to take care of those original, or those like split regrows, they'll all grow back into being as powerful as the original regrow. So if a zebra uh, regrow balloon shows up and you pop it into a couple of different lower tier regrows, they could grow back into being all zebra regrows, and that's really bad. Um, with that being said, almost at the 5,500. And then we'll have extra money coming in and that might just be really worth our while. And then we have about five more rounds to figure everything else out. I mean, a lot of cash here. I love the sound of the, of the thing. I feel like it's firing faster now too than it was before. I think it's just more in range to reach everything, which is nice. Okay, so you only gave me 200 rounds that time or $200 that round. <laughs> uh, but I think that's okay. I think that it's gonna start building up soon enough. Let's go ahead and activate this because it's actually getting really overwhelming. Then we can just not come back real quick. So you're level six still. You have a lot more work to go before you can really do too much more then. Activate the uh, crossbow, which you still have not reached anything, have you? You've popped not a single balloon. I mean, that's a good thing in a way. <laughs> um, Cyberpunk, you've popped 1,700. You've topped 36. You've popped 8,000. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. So we could try to rush for that 7,000 in the next three rounds and really see if it happens. I need to pay attention to how much money we get at the end of each round for this, uh, uh, Buccaneer. I also can start working on the leads a little bit more. Ooh, that's a lot of balloons. Did you pop your first one? I'm so proud. I didn't pay attention to how much money we got. Gosh darn it. <laughs> We're at 3,500 now. I'm pretty sure we can make this work. It gets a little scary, but at the same time, it's definitely handleable so far. We're definitely gonna have to get a new tower in once we upgrade 500, which isn't too bad. I like it. That's a $300 jump. Yeah, I think we can handle this. I think we can get the round 40. I don't know if we'll be able to get the 7,000 before round 40. We're about to find out, I suppose. And they're having a hard time getting past that second lane, let alone the third final lane. I mean, some of those regrows are, oof. Okay, 7,500, boom, got it, not bad. So we're just stopping him, oh my gosh. That's insane, that was worth the 7,000 for sure. Uh, so we're just gonna keep that how it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a cheaper option, but always a more effective one, which is that and then we'll just focus on the twin guns. It's always a good one to go for. So just wait for it to get to ba back to 1,000. We'll activate your special power because it gets rid of all those black balloons a lot easier or anything ceramic or higher as well, which is always nice. 1,100, got it. So all you gotta do is spend some money on power, use powers to get you money at the very beginning and everything's perfect. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, so 3,000 really shouldn't be too bad and then I'll have armor piercing darts, which would be great. There we go. So we, we got that figured out pretty nicely. At this rate, if I wanted to do anything more, hard to say, I want something with, of course, really dominant range, or maybe something like the Druid Monkey, where he has the lightning that can jump between targets. It's just, once again, his range is really limited. We could try doing like a tower like that. I feel like getting, you know, the heli pile, which we, we used a little bit last episode. Lots of people were recommending me with the uh, heli pilot. Lots of awesome advice last episode, thank you. Is definitely go for the pursuit almost every single time. Um, but with the razor rotors, the razor rotors don't really work very well with pursuit because he's always moving away from the balloons or trying to move in front of them. So the rotors don't really hit them too much. So do not, do not really try to go for that unless you really want the Apache dart ship, which, um, Sounds great, but I feel like it might be better to go for some other stuff. Like we could do Moab Shove, but I don't think we need it. Um, I would love to go the center lane for him right now. So let's go ahead and try that. And yeah, we'll just try to save up for that now and that should be pretty good. But yeah, just stuff that has a dominant kind of range, I feel like is gonna be really nice for us. So that's what we're focusing on right now. And we already have the 3,000, so we have the downdrafts. So that'll push some balloons back, which with this being such a concentrated small area already, I feel like that's just great, you know? So 12,000 is our next goal. That's, you know, doable. It's to support Chinook, and if we take a look, drops lives and cash crates, which we've never really checked out. That'd be nice to see. So we'll give it a shot and sort of see how things go. I mean, it's really expensive. After that, we might want to focus on something like crazy expensive, but we're just gonna go all in like that. Um, I don't know what that would be, like maybe 23,000 for that. I wish we could fit in one more ship, but we can't. I mean, I just like how you know powerful you've been. Um, shells can explode four times instead of three. I mean, it's not perfect. I think it could definitely be better. I mean, well, I just want to get to that level ten, and I hope we can do that in twenty rounds. If not, then I'm definitely going to buy my way up there, or just go into free play. We could also just do free play. That might be smarter. <laughs> oh, you just pop that ceramic real quick. Like I'm pretty sure that was the uh, the dude. 
12,000 for that actually wasn't too bad. And we do have enough experience to buy something here. I wanna get the first thing first. So that is so cool looking. Also, wait, do we have, we just suddenly got more than one ability, right? Whose ability is that? That wasn't there before. Are they both, are both of these to support Chinook's abilities? Yeah, weird, okay. So this one, I guess, oh, we can move it. Yeah, okay, well that's not really what I wanted to do, is it? And then we can like drop supply, okay, gotcha. Shouldn't have moved him, he was in a perfect spot as it was. I was so confused there, because now I can't reach that, which is sort of a bit of a problem. He's not popping anything right now. Okay, I don't want that to ruin me. So we're gonna move him as soon as we can. But this is, that's very interesting for sure. Hmm. I mean, if we get the 23,000 upgrade for this, if we take a look, generates more cash per round, increases cash earned by all the merchantmen by a number of merchantmen, which can be great. I don't have any other merchantmen though. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick you up. No, 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 oh, so you have to click and hold. Well, at least you're closer to that lane now. That's better. Go ahead and make you drop health. I'm at 205 health now. I don't think I ever dipped below in health, so. Interesting. Okay, activate this. I got a little bit scary, but we're able to knock it back pretty nicely. I like the support chinook. It's very cool. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Most likely not. I know myself very well in that way. <laughs> I did not pronounce things very well. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that like that right where it's supposed to be. So it's way up there now, which is very cool. Get $1,300, very nice. So we're, we're going pretty well right now. We'll activate that. So I definitely wanna go in the free play if we don't get the level 10, because we're at level eight. So I think that'll work. Can't really upgrade you any more than we have. But soon enough, actually, we'll be able to get Cripple Moab, which would be insane. I mean, I don't know if I exactly need it. Things are getting a little overwhelming. I'm trying it, <laughs> don't worry. Um, hmm. But I like the idea of being, I mean, honestly, that's a perfect combo. Combo. <laughs> you could actually work up to the support Chinook, which is very expensive, and then you could get this guy here. You know, maybe he's over by the Dart Monkey like in our first easy round, you know? Um, that way you don't have to spend all that money getting rid of it in the first place. But I feel like it's so advantageous to have in the beginning. That actually did make your health go up by 60. Holy cow, that's insane. The support Chinook is awesome. I love him. He's my favorite now. <laughs> um, let's go. Oh, yeah, I got enough money for this. Look at that. That is so cool looking. And this guy, him and the sniper just keeping this round back. Oh, yeah, because it was the thing. It was all the Moabs. It was the uh, red BFB. And there we go. Victory. Awesome stuff. Like I said, though, we're going to keep pushing to free play and uh, just sort of figure out some yep. stuff here because he's level nine. He'll keep working and get farther and farther. We'll just keep getting more and more money. I wanna see how much money we're getting per round, but oh gosh, the moms are really pushing. They are really, really pushing. Oh, we got it, okay. I didn't see how much money that made me. It was probably like a thousand, maybe like 750 or something. I hope it's like at least 750. Ooh, that's a lot of Moabs. I know we can make it though if we just keep pushing. I really wanna be able to get whatever this is, the sub commander. Grants plus five pierce and plus one damage to all stuff. Ah, that's not really that great though. Like it's great for him, but not anybody besides him. All right, we're at over 300 health. I wonder how far we can push our health. We'll definitely get the Moab Crippler. How much is that? Ah, uh, 50,000. I'm not gonna be able to reach that anytime soon. But if you can take a look. Crippled Moabs are immobilized for longer and take extra damage from all their attacks. Crazy stuff, right? What could I do instead then? I mean, I could get special operations, which uh, deploys a powerful special monkey with m machine shotgun. Like, that's his ability. Wow. I mean, I need to get these upgrades as well. I don't know if I'm gonna actually reach the 30,000 coins needed for that, so I might as well just get this. I won't use it in today's episode, but um, in the meantime, if I could do anything else, I mean, I could get a second sniper monkey. I just wanna be able to survive long enough, you know? So, whatever would really work. I mean, maybe a boomerang monkey would be a little bit fun to do. Uh, it just one thing, one of those things where it's like, if you don't have good aiming though, it ain't gonna work very well. So I don't know, I could feel like it's just smarter to have sniper monkeys and helicopters and stuff. So work on another sniper monkey. And for his upgrades, we will go for, I think, hmm. And we could do another main Moab, but I think it would be cooler to do maybe supply drop. So let's just focus on that a little bit. There we go, spent a lot of money there, but that's worth it. 
All right, so he already has a supply drop. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of balloons. That just sort of snuck up on me. I just look at like balloons everywhere. We got our supply drop. It has $600. Whoa, and that's gonna be it, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's game. Man, that happened quick. I wonder what I was doing wrong in there. I'm not spending $400 skin too. I really wanna see his level 10 though, come on. <laughs> All right then, well then we'll do something we actually haven't done before. Um, I mean, I completed it, so we could just go back in um, and do medium again if we wanted to. I actually wanna do though, wait, where is it? Oh yeah, right here, sandbox. So I wanna try sandbox out. Um, and we have like, if you don't know in sandbox mode, you have indefinite money and you have indefinite health practically. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just spend what I can, and I just wanna get him to level 10. And as you can see with this, I mean, one thing, he looks insane. <laughs> he looks really insane. Um, I didn't put him in the perfect spot, I suppose. Oh yeah, I gotta, oh, I guess I gotta choose. I've never done this before. Um, so as you can see, balloons start moving out and he starts destroying them. I might then want to get, interesting. Uh, so I'm just, I've never done this before, but I just really wanted to showcase this level 10. So what we can do is we could choose a Moab, just a normal one to come out, just like that. And then, okay, that was good. Just giving some help from above. That was, that was pretty nice. When he's level 10, he destroys a lot there. I like that. So, uh, this time, we'll also go ahead really quickly and we'll get a heli pilot and try to replace him a little bit better and do the same thing as we've done in the past. Do that, and then that, and then that way we can, uh... oh, I'm doing the wrong things. Is there a round going on right now, I guess, technically? Uh, I wanted to move him as far as we possibly can. We can move him practically on top of the barbed wire, and because of that, you can see he has so much range. Um, but now we can get him to like max level <laughs> if we wanted to. He looks insanely cool. Um, and then we can throw in like, like let's really go crazy. Let's see if he can handle a BFB. This is fun to experiment with. There we go. Oh, I threw one too. So let's go ahead and do this. And as you can see, immediately destroyed. Keep going. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously, now I'm gonna go ahead and sell this guy and try that again. Um, Just one BFB. Where is it? It's right there. So we don't have the cooldowns immediately. But we can just destroy him normally, and it does some major damage at this level. Obviously, it's next to impossible to actually get him this far. But it's still really cool to see. You know, like how much can he really, oh gosh, do? <laughs> those exits. I was trying. So obviously, even then, at max level, he can't fully defend against a BFP without his ability, so we're gonna go ahead and try that again. But this time, we will also have some other stuff yes. to help us out. So we can go ahead and land all that. Then I can do this and that clears it out, super powerful. That's very cool. So we'll let that do its thing one more time. I mean, it does actually take a second. It might, it might even be faster to sell him and then rebuy, oh, come on, I just wanna place my stinking monkeys. You really gotta pay attention to his placement here because you can get a lot of range out of it. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. I love it. So let's try out the next one. This is the Zomg. And there's some balloons here I haven't even seen. Oh gosh, well I just threw both of them out. That's not really what I was looking for. But uh, hey, let's give it a shot. Okay, so there we go. It's still doing some pretty decent damage. It's not as good for sure. Like, you would need more help. You really need more help than what you're getting here. But it goes through, I think it has like a bit of a collateral shot, so it really hits everybody. You know what then, we're gonna get a little bit of help back here. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, you can't get like a game over. I mean, I guess you could eventually. But with our friend here, that really helps with the crossbow master. Very nice. So I think you guys have got a good idea about this hero and what he can do, obviously when he's max level, that's a little bit you know, out of focus. But I would love to hear your thoughts on, do you think he's good, do you think he's bad? And what are your thoughts on heroes? Do you think it would be cool to see more new heroes down the line? What ideas do you have? I would love to hear, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you want to just put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Tank, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.